Hello everyone and welcome back for another snack size episode. In this episode we'll be looking at how to create a small little uh, node but a very useful one and that's determining whether or not we've double clicked on something. Okay so that's how we're going to work out if we double tapped or double clicked a button on our controller, keyboard on the, or on the screen itself if you're doing a mobile game. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that and this will also introduce you to the macro library. So a macro, if I open up a blueprint, you can see uh, you can make a new macros in the bottom left here so i can delete this one here uh, we can add new macros by clicking on the little plus icon to create a new macro um, and macros are sort of reusable nodes such as these uh, that you can use multiple times and customize pretty much however you like um, you've already seen a couple of these probably um, just without realizing it so for example the for loop is a macro because if you double click on it you see the macro okay so that's what this is what we're going to do is we're going to create our own macro library now a macro library is basically a collection of macros or a collection of nodes that we can re reuse in multiple actors or blueprints so to do this library we're going to go add new blueprints blueprint macro library and in this window now choose actor and I'm going to call it macro library. You can have multiple ones of these, it doesn't really matter. Um, but for now, we just need the one. And we'll open this up. Now you can see here we've already got a new macro already inserted here. And I can name it however I like. So I'm going to name this one is check click type. And this is going to be the name of our node. And we're going to check what the click that the player has just done is either going to be a single click or a double click so we've got inputs node and outputs node the inputs node and outputs node can be configured on the right hand side in the details panel where you see inputs and outputs so i can click on the plus symbol for inputs and i can type this in as a uh whatever i want so i'm going to type in click and the boolean type that is by default you want to change that to executable okay an execution pin and you'll see it turned to the execution pin which is the white arrow that you've been so accustomed to previously now for outputs we're going to add two of these the first one is going to be for double click and the second one for single click okay so the clicks will go through and we can determine uh, whether or not it's a double or a single but how do we actually do that that's the stuff that goes in the middle really so let's make this up now so we're going to go from the click here and we're going to assign uh, not assign sorry we're going to right click open space here and do a boolean a local boolean okay and these locals are variables that are pre uh, temporarily stored inside the macro okay so you don't store them like a variable that can't be accessed anywhere else um, they're just a local value that you're going to store stuff to and from there i can drag out and click on assign and you can see here i can now set a value to that uh, variable in this case it's a boolean and so when we go into this we're going to assign the va uh, value of n false to this variable to this boolean and then from there we can go into a gate so a gate has several of these and the gate it looks like it's another type of macro you can open up and you can see it's complication so in this gate we've got enter open close toggle start closed and finally an output of exit the the way it works and uh, data comes into through the enter so it comes to the enter and wants to go out the exit but it will only do that if it's open okay so you can tell something to open it and you can tell something to close it or toggle it if you want but it'll only exit out of this if it is open okay so what i want to happen is i want the local boolean and i'm just going to do a little reroute node there i want to assign it 
the value of true if it comes out of the exit this will make more sense in a second so the way this works is we're going to basically make a sequence so after the first assign type in sequence and a sequence is quite simple basically it just goes through the first one then after that it goes through the second one and so forth and so forth and so forth so when it first time goes through here it will go through the then zero enter it it won't exit because it isn't opened so it end there then it'll go through then one and then one we want to open it we're going to add another pin to this on then two we're going to delay it let's just give ourselves a bit more space here and that's going to go into a close so the data goes in doesn't go to the assign because it's not open yet it then opens it through then one it won't go anywhere it just opens it then two will happen immediately after but it's delayed first by a split of a second so there's a slight delay before it closes it again so for a brief window this is open so if you were to double click on this so the first click would open the gate and for the brief window afterwards the second click will get through the then zero to assign the value to true we then come out of then two into a close and we want to make a then three to go into a branch the branch will take the condition of that local boolean let's just reroute this make it nice and tidy so after it closed the tick uh, close the um, sorry not tick the click sorry uh, it will go into the branch and pass through this variable which if you double click will now be true if you haven't it will remain false and then if it's true it will go to double click if it's false it will go to single click and that is it click save and close it and now to how to actually use it so let's go into our first person character here and set up a little demo here so I'm going to do it with the right click. So right mouse button. And the right mouse button is going to go through that click macro we just made. Now to access it, all you do is right click and go check click type. And there's the, the library. Okay, because it's an actor, it can be accessed by all actors. Okay, all blueprints. So press goes into click. And then we could do some test strings here. Double click. And single click. Click compile. And now I can play. And if I right click once, single click, double click. I get my double. Pretty nifty, eh? And that's basically how the macro library works and how you do a double click. If you want to make it so it's uh, you have to be quicker with the clicks, you can just open up the macro and change the duration of the delay here. Basically, I've got a fifth of a second to actually uh, register the second click. Okay, but you can change that to whatever you like. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and learned a bit more about macros and the macro library. And uh, stay tuned for more Snack Size videos and other videos. And if you'd like to support me, head over to Patreon and you can get access to these videos two weeks ahead of time before anyone else. And uh, thank you, goodbye. Hi everyone, if you do like these videos and you have liked what I've done in the past and want to see what else I can do, um, all your support is greatly appreciated on YouTube. However, I do have a Patreon set up as well where you can support me even further. Money donated by yourselves will help me make better videos and better content, uh, and more frequently, hopefully. Plus, it will help me develop my own projects. Currently, I'm in a project at the moment, and I'll hopefully be able to share that with you uh, sh soon. Um, 
if you do su just, uh, choose to donate and subscribe to us on Patreon, uh, you do get access to videos two weeks ahead of time, plus there are many other rewards available to you too. So head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, and uh, thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.